September 30, around 230. So we have three engines and they have varying uh, challenges that goes with uh, very little maintenance. So this, the, the, just to back up a little bit, why do these machine requires a lot of maintenance? So the, the farmers here like to uh, run the engine cold, they run it slow. I mean, the, uh, the firing of the cylinder, um, they bring it down to minimum. And so the RPM is low. Now, why would they, why would they want to do that? Um, they want to save diesel. So run it slow. Rate of use or rate of consumption of diesel will be slow. So what comes with that though is the oil that goes into the uh, the pistons in other places. It, it doesn't have enough pump pressure. So what tends to happen is lubrication failure. Now uh, it's really difficult to explain the lubrication failure to these guys. Um, they just want to see that run slow, then you save diesel and um, then you save diesel. Makes sense, logical. What they haven't understood is run it slow and the wear and tear is greater. So getting, getting, to, getting them to understand that there's a downside to running them slow it's, it's challenging. Uh, so this one overheated. Uh, piston valve or the valve cylinder needs to be replaced, two of them. And the seat needs to be replaced. The uh, piston bushing needs to be replaced. This, it's been rep uh, serviced um, one or two cropping ago. And so it needs to be um, need to be um, maintained again. So for this one, there's some challenges. This one is a little bit more uh, the bushing oil again, as you can see, bushing bearing worn out. That's oil. And along with that, the liner needs to be uh, replaced. And it's because um, here there's a bit of a groove now because there's not enough oil. And then there's a straight Asian or scratches. Uh, so this will leak. So uh, what is it going to be replaced? Piston, piston ring, liner, and these will need to be replaced. Resurface. So that, that's the, the challenges with these. Uh, a reason for running them slow will have consequences. And this one, of course, uh, more of the same. Uh, one is bushing valve valve stem that sort of things piston so if you have several engines you really need to uh, to do a maintenance on them this one lasted two crops or a little close to two crops, not even two crops. This one lasted four crops. I'm not sure how long this thing lasted, not too long. So this, these are the challenges of maintenance. So maintenance in the Philippines, they run it till they're broken and then cause a lot of Cause a lot of arm and a leg to get them working again. 
and um, gotta keep pushing you know this um, idea of maintenance so now now that I know this thing doesn't last two crops so every crops that needs to be serviced or maybe after the after second crops need, need to be turned down so basically all of this machine after the second crops I told the guys to bring them in we need to do maintenance because the longer they run with damage damaged parts the longer the more the the more it costs to have them service and repair and they may have a crack, uh, cracked head and then that's even more expensive because a lot of these machines are obsolete they're not built new so if, if one has to look for these you have to go to a junk shop they call it or junkyard i call it and uh, locate search or wait till uh, a farmer return these in exchange for something else so that's uh, here it's like a barter they bring them to a junkyard junk shop and then you go there and say oh that's uh, we can do an exchange so maintenance plan really tough running them slow really tough because um that's ingrained ram slow save diesel yeah run them slow cost a lot of money hard there's stubbornness in 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 the thinking about not wanting to increase the rpm because it would consume a lot of diesel however in exchange parts will will be destroyed and one may end up having no engine at all so i, I don't know what's the what's uh, what's better I, I i don't think running them slow to save crude crude oil or diesel is better i think they need to be running at some rpm that would meet the um, criteria of pumping oil into this into its system so uh, that's that's how it is with uh, the engine here. They run slow, no oil into the uh, piston cylinder, piston piston rod bushing, whatever. No oil means built up friction, wear, uh, wear out the parts, the bushing, the bearing faster, and then you need to do a tear down. Um, or if you don't catch it, the the failure, the, the the engine would just be destroyed. That's how it is. Thanks for watching.